supposed to be like a group of people that you're supposed to be like, oh, these are all your friends, so you're supposed to answer them. What is the worst <laughs> argument you've ever been in? Oh. Right here. <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. Um, I don't know. The worst argument you've ever... Uh, road rage. I got out of my car one time. I was about mm. to fight the guy. Mm. And it was only because, so I'll describe it. I was driving I'm early in the morning, trying to get to work. I'm driving up the street. There's normally no one up around this time. It's like early, early, like uh, five something, almost six o'clock. Let's just say it's six o'clock, <clears throat> six in the morning. I'm driving up to the stop sign where normally I just hit the stop sign, look both ways, then keep going because there's normally, normally nobody out there. Drive up, there's this car right there. I come up to it, and I'm like, okay. They're still there. And I could see from the back of the window, they're on their phone. So I'm like, okay. Drive up a little bit more. Have my lights on. This person's not doing anything. So I honk. Nothing. Then, boom, emergency lights come on. I'm like, oh, okay. Whoop. Sweep around them and go past the stop sign. They speed up and come at me once we get to the light. I'm going to turn left. They got on the on the lane that's going to turn or go straight, not the one that's turning left. I'm turning left. <clears throat> they come up to it, and I just like kind of like looked over because they were like kind of like trying to flash me down. And you could tell that they're just try- they're like cussing me out. Wow. Like full force. Their window's not even down. Mine's not even down. And I'm just kind of like, like, what the heck? So I start making the turn, and I'm thinking these people are going to go straight. Make the turn. They start making the turn. They almost hit me. And I'm like, I'm not going to have this today. So instantly I pull over, park my car, and I get out. And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you, la, la, la. And I go off on the dude. He gets out. He's like, la, 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 la. just scream at himself? me. He's by himself. He's like this 20 some year old dude. At the time, I was like 20 some too. So I was just kind of, but this guy is like short. He's smaller. He's he's just like, dude, if, if we get in a fight right now, you're going to lose. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, I don't think you were expecting me to be this big when I come, when I came out of the car. And I had my knife, too. Because oh <laughs> I always carry my knife with me. So I was, I was there, and I was just like, you know what? Screw this dude. Like, I'm I'm not even going to, like, bother with him. He's just going to ruin my day. It, and it's early in the morning. It's probably, like, 6.010 now. 6.010. 6.010. Sorry. 6.10 or, like, 6.07 or something like that. Because it was literally early in the morning. Um, so I'm just like. I'm done with this. Get in the car. And he's still like screaming. He's like going off on me. And I'm already like driving away already. Like this guy's still out there in front of like his car yelling. And then like instantly I'm thinking like, dude, I just got into this big argument with this dude. And it wasn't my fault. But at the same time, it's like I can tell that he's going to hold on to that for like the next four weeks (laughs) because of the way he was going off on me. Maybe he was having a bad day. Can't blame the dude. It was early in the morning. He's already having a bad day. Or maybe he had a bad night. Didn't sleep enough. But still, like, he let whatever happened affect him in that way to the point where he just kind of blew up on a random person Mm -hmm. that was just trying to get to work. I think it's scary in those situations because you never know what the other person, you know. Might have. Might have. Like a weapon. I've seen so many memes. Like a knife. Like, not just a knife, but I've seen, like, memes where the guy is, like, on the side and they have their window down and he's, you know, yelling and yelling. And the guy just, like, pulls his gun like he's going to shoot and then the car just goes back, like, kind of like, oh, I'm not going to do anything. And so it's really scary because, you know, you could provoke someone to do something that, you know, you're not even prepared to face, you know? Yeah. I think for me, the worst argument that I've ever had, I've never had arguments with anyone that weren't close to me. So that's probably one. So anything that I've ever had 
like that involved like yelling or anything like i've that's another thing i've never yelled at someone that was in my blood or oh, okay. you know like so family members only family members I, I i don't think i've ever yelled at a friend or a best friend like that just that's not me i've been upset i've probably ha been petty or something but i've never yelled um Nothing. I honestly like I've, I've never left the house because my mom she was big on that like she never like was like you're never going to leave the house because you're upset you know you're never going to walk out because algo te puede pasar or something could happen to you you could get you know killed or whatever so that's never happened to me right. um, I don't know why but all I can think of right now is um, the day before my wedding I had a huge argument with my sister. Um, and I think it wasn't really so much. Oh, I think I know. Like it was out of everyone's control. No, it wasn't even because of the pandemic. It was mm. because. I, so I wanted to take a picture with my photographer of my dress, of me looking at a mirror and you get a certain angle of the dress. Right. I wanted this image. And we had a huge mirror, which I had purchased for the house that was in the living room. And I had asked my sister, can I take the mirror down so that I can take my picture tomorrow that the photographer gets here? And she was like, no. And I was like, but I bought the mirror. Like, I, I was doing you a courtesy asking you if, you know, we could do this. And she was like, no, it's going to be a lot of work to bring it down. And then, you know, I, I, I can't do it myself. And I was like, it's fine. I was asking you if you could ask, like, Fernie or whatever. And she was like, no. And I was like, and I, and then I got so mad. I got so mad that she wouldn't let me use the, the mirror. So it's fine. So I texted my bridesmaids that night. And I was like, hey, by any chance, does someone have, like, you know, a mirror that I could borrow because I want to take this photo, you know, blah, blah. And as they were like, I, I was waiting for their responses. She got mad because she was like, why are you asking people? Like, why are you being oh, in part of the group chat? Um, no, I had I was telling my mom about it. And so mm. she heard. So she's like, why are you being an inconvenience to people when we have a mirror here? So I was like, you don't let me use the mirror. Like, mm. are you kidding me right now? And she was just kind of like, well, if you really wanted it, like we would have obviously done it. Right. And so we just got into this argument of like, you know, like we, we just started fighting. Like it got so elevated that like I was yelling and I was upset. I slammed the door. But honestly, it was a lot of emotions because up until that point, my sister hadn't been emotional about me leaving and about me getting married. And I was dealing with a lot of emotions of like, I'm never going to be here anymore. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I'm going to come and visit and stuff. But like, I'm leaving. Like, today's the last day. There's a scene, um, a show that we like to watch called Boy Meets World. Mm -hmm. And there's a scene where Corey and Sean, the best friends, have a fight on the day of his wedding. And they're hashing it out. And he's literally telling him like... You know, we have to talk about it. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. He's like, things are going to change. And so that's literally what happened. Like we we made an argument out of something so insignificant, but it was it was a surface problem over what was really happening underneath. And right. Eventually, you know, we talked it out and we cried and it's just like we have to face the reality. You know, you're leaving, you know, things are changing, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I ended up getting my mirror photo or whatever. But I would say that's the biggest argument that we've ever had, which, yeah. Yeah, I'd it say could that's be a pretty big the one. The biggest thing. Yeah. I mean, leaving family and all. Yeah, 